Hey, what's up everybody? Monday, July 15th. And it is Monday, which means I sent out the new edition of MMT Trader. If you want a copy of that, go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com. Sign up for a 30-day free trial. And when you're there, remember, you can get uh, Zombie Trading, which is my daily Forex signal service. Hey, that's been working really great. I'm going to talk about that in a second. And also my courses. Don't forget my courses. You have my Forex video trading course. You have Understanding the Daily Treasury Statement course. I've spoken a lot about that. That is uh, really, that's an amazing resource. Most people don't know about it. That is literally the checkbook of the United States government. You see all, like your checkbook, you see all the withdrawals and all the deposits on a daily basis. You're talking about billions, tens of billions, sometimes hundreds of billions, even trillions, even hundreds of trillions sloshing in and out of the banking system between the treasury and the banking system and those I've talked about those movements and you know once you understand it those billions moving in and out they affect the markets and when you when you know when those flows are going to happen in in certain quantity and magnitude that is absolutely tradable you know there is going to be a reaction. I've used the example of, you know, the science of physics. A force applied to an object creates a reaction. And the force are these massive flows, these billions, tens of billions, hundreds of billions into and out of the banking system. And they affect the markets and you can trade these things. And the patterns are there because you can look back year over year and see when you know, government spending is very, very regular. I mean, we know what's going out every single month. There's certain variations from month to month, but you could just look back year over year. You know exactly what's going out. There's a schedule of Social Security payments. There's payments that are scheduled on the first of the month. I mean, all this stuff is so predictable. I said before in, an, in a, a, a video I did, you got these guys, these algo traders, spending millions and millions, tens of millions of dollars to put their servers next to the servers at the uh, New York Stock Exchange or, or the CME out there in Illinois. I mean, spending enormous amounts of money to try to get a little advantage when it costs us nothing. This information is free. We just have to use, we just have to have the knowledge, the understanding. I laugh at this. They're not doing any better than we are, and we're not spending the millions and millions to, to, to stick our computers next to the New York Stock Exchange. And everybody's like, oh, they're so sophisticated. They're not. You don't need this. I can get this information right off my phone. I don't even need to be sitting at a computer. Anyway, I teach that for 99 bucks. It should be 99,000 bucks. It's 99. Anyway, all my courses are there. MMT Trader is out today. Of course, what do I talk about when I go down the list every single week? All right, fiscal flows, so important, so massively important. That is the tide, that's the tide that floats all boats in the economy or sinks all boats. All right, I talk about bank credit, massively important, loans and leases assets being accumulated by the banks, bank uh, capital, residual, so-called assets minus liabilities, bank deposits. You know when they talk about, oh, there's cash on the sidelines? Now that's a phrase that people throw out there, even some of these hot shots on Wall Street, but they don't really even know what they're talking about. Bank deposits. We see that. All this stuff we see before everybody else. Uh, reserve flows. Now, this is a new thing that I've been talking about since, uh, I guess, third quarter of last year. Like, these are, are very, very important, and they cause the banks to have to adjust their asset mix with these reserve flows. And now, particularly with the debt ceiling in place, there's been so much volatility in these reserve flows, and that creates even more trading opportunity massive trading opportunity. I'm the only one who not only talks about that, I think I'm the only one who understands that. Don't, don't even think you can go to another MMT guy to understand that because they don't. They leave it out. As a matter of fact, they have it all backwards. 
<laughs> Maybe I'll make a video on why they have it backwards at another time. Anyway, gold. Correction probably coming, but I get into that deeply. Now, I've been long gold for three years. I had guys three years ago telling me, oh boy, Mike, good luck on that gold position, only they didn't say it to me in such a polite way. They were nasty. All right? They were nasty. They were snide. They were sarcastic. I know how to hold a position. And people who are with me, who have stayed with me, I have taught them the mental game process, how to have discipline. Now, a lot of people left. I have guys, I see, and I've said this before, that the number one thing, if you ask me, if you were to ask me, Mike, what is the number one factor in success? I would tell you, it's not quitting. It's patience. It's self-control. Control over your emotions, control over your behavior. And the flip side of that is also true that we can take advantage of other people who cannot control their emotions and control their behavior. So gold is in my report today. Oil, what's happening with oil? We had a pullback today. Is that a buy, is that a sell? Look, in the last four weeks, we have seen almost a 27 million barrel drawdown in crude inventories. The OPEC production cuts are in effect. They are working. We are also in a seasonal draw period. We have strong gasoline demand. We have refiner inputs, which is the actual demand by refiner for crude back up at levels where it should be. It took a long time for that to happen because earlier this year there was a lot of maintenance going on. What does it mean? Got to get the report. Got to read about it. Uh, Fed balance sheet. Important to know what is going on with the Fed balance sheet. Now, as you know, the Fed has been reducing its balance sheet since, uh, what, about the past year and a half or so, maybe a little bit longer. And um, in September, that's going to stop. Now, what effect is that going to have? You need to, these are the things you need to know about. When you're talking about the Fed's balance sheet, you're talking about, you know, a three point, almost a four trillion entity right there. A four trillion dollar factor. That is the whale. That is the elephant. What's going to happen when they stop reducing their balance sheet? What's going to happen to reserve balances? What's going to happen to bonds? What's going to happen to the other markets? Gold, uh, the U.S. dollar, stocks. I don't need... To spend 20 million to put my server next to the server near the New York Stock Exchange or in Illinois next to the CME. Let all those guys think they're geniuses. I could go to a little free resource on the internet and have better information than all of these guys. Than all of these guys. And they're employing dozens and dozens, if not hundreds, of quants and programmers all to get this little thing. I don't know what their return is. It's a decent return. Don't get me wrong. But we do much better. Anyway, it's all there, folks. Today is Monday. MMT Trader comes out every Monday. Go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com. Sign up for a 30-day free trial. All this stuff is eminently tradable if you understand this if you have the knowledge of this and most important if you have the mental game that's really the thing see I've, I've said before I could throw darts at a dartboard and make money you can't some of my other people can who've been with me because they have you know they have learned mental game they have honed their mental game so we don't necessarily need a system but having said that Better information, better knowledge, better understanding. Man, that puts you so far ahead. It's not even funny. It should be illegal, but it's not. All right, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.